I got a message to the millions of illegal aliens that Joe Biden's releasing our country in violation of federal law. You better start packing now. We are going to the border. We've been to the border. So this whole, this whole, this whole thing about the border. We've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. I hear a lot of people say, you know, the talk of a mass deportation is racist. It's, it's, uh, it's threatening to immigrant community. It's not threatening to the immigrant community. It should be threatening to the illegal immigrant community. Is there a way to carry out mass deportation without separating families? Of course there is. Families can be deported together. It is not an emergency. We are not facing a crisis. We have a president of the United States who has created a fiction about a crisis at the border and he has held up the United States government and its workers around his vanity project called a wall. To the criminal cartels in Mexico, you smuggled enough fentanyl across this country to kill 148,000 young Americans. You have killed more Americans than every terrorist organization in the world combined. And that's when President Trump gets back in office. He's going to designate you a terrorist organization, and he's going to wipe you off the face of the earth. You're done. You're done. The, the idea that he is trying to say that we have people that are trying to invade our country to commit mass crime is a crisis of his own making. I specialize in transnational criminal organizations. Yeah. That's, that wall ain't gonna stop them. No. 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 <laughs> There's a 600% increase in the sex trafficking of women and children. Border Patrol has arrested more terrorists coming across the border in one month than Trump had in four years. This is the biggest national security vulnerability this country's ever had. Donald Trump would be the president, and I'll be in the middle of running the biggest deportation operation this country's ever seen. I am not for a wall. We don't need to build a wall. This is a crisis of his own making. The president of the United States has a vanity project that he doesn't want to give up. It's the president's vanity project. Mm. This issue is about a vanity project for this president. Right. The president's vanity project? Let me be very clear, I'm not going to vote for a wall under any circumstances. It will not end with a wall. It will not end with a wall. It will not end with a wall? No. All right. He comes back, I come back, we fix this shit.